In this video, I am going to show you how to set up a Zap or data connection in the Zapier automation platform to integrate BarCloud with an email application, specifically Gmail. Keep in mind, it only needs to be done once, and if you need any assistance along the way, feel free to visit us at www.barcloud.net. To get started, you'll need three things, a BarCloud account, a Zapier account, and a Gmail account. After you log into your Zapier account, click on Make a Zap in the main menu. The first thing you want to do is find BarCloud under the Trigger Apps and then select New Asset Checkout Record as the trigger for this example. Then you're going to find the app to move the data into called the Action App. Select Gmail and in the drop down choose Send Email. With this app in place, whenever an asset has been checked out of BarCloud, a triggered email will automatically be created and sent from Gmail. Click Continue, and then you'll need to connect BarCloud to Zapier. You can follow the instructions here to find your customer key. It's very easy to do and only needs to be done once. Click Continue, and when you see that the account is working, you will connect the Action app which is Gmail. Enter your credentials and click continue. It may ask you to enter your credentials again before prompting you to allow access to Zapier. After you see that both accounts are working, you arrive at the custom filter step here. Here you can see several options, but you won't need to use them for this example, so click continue. In this step, you match the particular BarCloud asset data to the fields inside the email template. You can choose which fields you want to populate. The required email fields are two, which lets you insert the email recipients. Subject, which will be the title of the message. And plain body. In this example, you want the recipient to know the asset ID of the checked out item, which you find in the Insert Fields drop down as asset number. The person who has the asset, which is person moved to, and when the asset is due to be returned, so you find due date in the drop down options. Feel free to include additional text and fields that pertain to your asset tracking system and then click continue. Once you've done that, you can begin testing the zap. You can see the triggered information that is coming from BarCloud. As well as the action information you've chosen to bring over from BarCloud to include in your emails. After you see that the test was a success, you click continue so you can name the zap. Then click turn zap on to make it official. From here on out, every time a BarCloud user has checked out an asset, Gmail will automatically send the information you have connected through Zapier. And once again, this process only needs to be done once. For more information about BarCloud or this integration, please contact us today at www.barcloud.net.